Peace. How's everybody doing today? Good. good Josh. All right. You? Yeah, doing good. Hey, uh, I guess starting off, how how and when did you learn that you were going to be filling in for less miles this week? Uh, that was Thursday night about eight thirty, eight forty-five. Did did he give you a call or what? How did it come about? Yes, sir. It's one of the most uh, it's one of the most humbling experiences of my entire life. Hall of Fame head football coach Les Miles um, is is gut wrenched. He's heartbroken. He can't make the trip with his team. His team's ready to go fight for victory for him. And and uh, his staff is unbelievable, man. That's an elite football staff in there. And they just didn't have the right leader today. Um, proud of them, but it's extremely humbling that uh, the coach Miles would, would choose me to, to take those Hawks on the field today in his absence, and we can't wait to get him back. Hey, what what were the, the biggest issues for the offense? I guess, uh, especially after the defense got off to a hot start and you guys were up 10 nothing, just couldn't really seem to get any offense going after that, it seemed. Well, you know, I really liked the way we came out. I thought we came out with a fire. We had a great plan. I think Coach Dearman and, and the offensive staff really, really put together a plan that was going to be effective. We hit, some, we hit some adversity and got behind the chains a little bit and, and stumbled some. But uh, you put that on me. I mean, uh, we, we got to get those guys ready to play four quarters. I thought their fight was there. And, uh, and I got to get them better to execute. And, and you put that on me today. I think in the second half, especially, the offense was really struggling. What kind of led to that development? Well, I just think you're playing a quality football team on the road. Um, I, I just think that um, the fight and the heart of there is there. We're going to grow with experience. And um, I, I'm proud of the leadership of, of uh, Kendrick Miles. Um, I, I think those guys were laying on the line. I think the plan was good. We just got to go out there and we got to execute better. You can, you can play as hard as you want to. And uh, you can want it really, really bad. But it's going to come down to execution. And uh, there's no doubt in my mind, these young men, they're going to go back to work on Monday. And they're going to they're gonna fix some of those execution miscues, and, and they're going to be ready to go again. Coach, did Les talk to you, the team before the game today or you at halftime or anything? Uh, I've been in coach. communication with Coach Miles. I mean, this is his football team. He's rocking and rolling, man. So, uh, so far, his words of encouragement uh, throughout this 24 hours or so um, of him announcing to the team has been priceless to me uh, and to these young men. Uh, these these guys love playing the game for them now. I tell you what, and uh, I think you can see that by the way those guys finished today. I mean, getting the kickoff return at the end of the game right there, that's just the fight. That's the heart of the line and, and Puka Williams. That's the heart of the other 10 guys going out there on that score. I tell you what now, I said this this coaching staff uh, from top to bottom is unbelievable. You had um, – we, we, we were so thankful for a healthy little baby boy of Jonathan Wallace. I thought Luke Roth did a heck of a job, man, filling in. He knew the game plan had been in the been in special teams meet with, with Coach Wallace and Coach Miles all week long, all week long, and, and did a phenomenal job of operating and stepping in and filling the absence there. And uh, just really, really proud of, of the unity of this group. Um, it's obviously set by a great leader. And uh, I just think that everybody pulled together today and uh, really threw their heart over the bar. The Jayhawks, we just ended up short a little bit when the clock ran out. Hey, Coach, two questions on the offense for you. I'll ask one and then I'll follow up. I uh, wanted to start with Miles Kendrick. Uh, had that touchdown early that, that maybe could have been intercepted, didn't do much else after that. How, how would you assess his play uh, throughout the entire day? Yeah, I, I think I think Miles is a great leader. I, I think he stepped up uh, when his team needed him to. I think he was ready to go today. I think he was very well prepared. Um, he came out and let it rip early, and we just kind of got in situations where it was – it was it was obvious pass situations and, and you know when they're dropping everybody and just and just rushing three or adding a fourth here and there and giving some mixed up looks up front. I just think that um, um, he pulled the ball down and, and did, but I don't I don't see that being a, a Kendrick Miles uh, a Miles Kendrick issue. I, I think that he did a, a great job of um, of fighting and leading this team on offense. And, and then just following up on that, uh, was there any thought to changing quarterbacks at any point during the game? No, today I mean we're. We, uh, Miles gave us the best chance to win, and that was a decision by our coaching staff uh, uh, collectively uh, under the leadership of Coach Miles and Coach Brent Dearman. And um, he was the guy we needed to ride. I mean, he was the guy today. He was prepared. Hey, was, was Thomas McVitie available today, or was Miles Fallon the backup for Miles Kendrick? I, I, both of them were available. Uh, you know, both of those guys have been nicked up a little bit. And so um, giving them the opportunity um, to heal up another week, you know, is, is obviously an advantage and have them ready to go. And, 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 and have them at full strength and putting a, a, a full strength young man out there. But we're, we're proud of what, what three did today. He did a great job, man. He did a great job leading us. It's not on him. It's on Coach Irv. We don't put a, a, that game on him. Hey, Coach, you were you were kind of hard on yourself just there and a little earlier when you said they didn't have the right leader today. 
Uh, why do you feel that way? What, why were you so hard on yourself when you say that? Well, Jay, Jay Hawk just came up a little short. I mean, it, it's, um, it's a deal where when you watch the play, when you watch the film, the effort and the energy is there. Man, they did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. So uh, me standing behind this podium today, I just got to do a better job of being sure that we're prepared to execute the calls that, that we're calling in all three phases. And we came a little short today. So that's my responsibility. Hey, the, the defense finally got some takeaways today. What did you think of their play? Man, wasn't that awesome to see? I mean, we were due a little bit. We talked about that in pregame. And uh, we were due. We were close. We've had some hit our hands, man. And when you fly around on defense, I mean, good things are going to happen. There's batted balls. There's tip balls. And uh, guys ripping at the ball. I thought that uh, the defensive staff uh, really emphasized that the past two weeks. A ton of turnover circuits. And, and what you emphasize, you get. And I thought they did a great job of trying to force uh, turnovers and give the ball back to the offense as many possessions as we could steal today. Fought their tails off today. Proud of them. It seemed like really the defense was responsible for keeping the game relatively close into the third quarter. Um, was this the best the defense has looked all year? I'm proud of those, I'm proud of those guys on defense. I, I thought they played uh, with their heart and soul, man. We're all Jayhawks. We walk, walk in the stadium. We'll walk out of here and go on the bus and go on the plane and get back to Lawrence and, uh, and, and regroup for next week. So we're a team. We'll take a, a couple more. Coach Ergo, please. Hey, Coach, uh, just circling back to the offense, uh, Team Third Down has been a struggle lately. I think there was two conversions through the game. Uh, from uh, At least from what you've seen, what do you, why do you think that is and what do you think you guys can improve on to, I guess, be more successful on third down? We gotta execute. We gotta, we gotta, the shorter the third down is and the better opportunity you have to get it, and we've just got to execute. I think the, I think the plan's there. Uh, kids are giving all they got. We've got to be able to make the play when it gets time to make the play. And, um, and and that's again that's on me. Hey, coach. Teams have shown uh, your opponents this year have shown you know they can hit you with a pretty big run today. After you go up ten nothing, thirty eight unanswered. Of course, at that point, um, what's the what's the vibe like on the sideline? I mean, when when you get your guys caught in a run like that, where where there's just no breaks and and that other team just keeps piling up points. I mean, what do you see demeanor wise and and heads up and that kind of thing from your guys on the sideline? Uh, we talked about it all, all this past 24 hours in the hotel this morning and everything. We talked about it at halftime. Don't flinch. And I don't think our guys flinched today. I think our guys kept fighting. I think they have a warrior spirit. So stinking proud to be a Jayhawk. So stinking proud to be on the staff and to, to represent those kids standing here today. Um, it wasn't their fight. It wasn't. They didn't quit. Um, they didn't hang their head. They kept battling. They kept battling. If you look at that sidelines late in the fourth quarter, those guys were fighting, man. They were fighting to get tackles and take the ball away to return a kick for a touchdown. Those guys are fighting and, and uh, proud of those young men. You, you talked a lot about execution here in the last five minutes or whatever. Um, what does it take beyond that to, to kind of stop those runs that those opponents have been hitting you with this year? I mean, any, anytime um, – I, 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 we're playing a good football team, first of all. I mean, hats off to Neil Brown. Uh, West Virginia's a good football program. He's getting that thing rolling. They, they've done a great job over there. So um, you, you match effort. You match energy. You get a great scheme and you put it together, and the one who, who makes the play makes the play. And um, and I just feel like we just got to kind of hone in. We just got to keep working and, and the final things. It's not big things. The, these Jayhawks right here that Coach Miles has are coming. The, the best is yet to come. I'm telling you, that's a young group of dudes out there that are fighting their tail off and led by some really, really, really quality seniors, quality older group. And they're fighting. They're fighting for victory. They're fighting every play for victory. And when we make plays, right, we look really, really good. And when we slip up and we miss this or miss that, it's little things that we can fix. And when we fix those, we'll go back to, to practice this week. That's, what, that's why they call it practice. We'll go back and fix the little things, and we'll regroup, and we'll get ready for the next opponent next week.